Santi, what's it been like for you uh, the first three games, just adjusting to such a, a completely different team and, and maybe feeling out what your role looks like uh, on this team? I mean, it's been fun. Uh, nothing short of fun. Uh, we've just been playing. We've been winning. Uh, that's all that matters. And at this point uh, in my life, uh, all that matters is winning. So uh, I don't really care. We have a lot more talent. That's something we talked even before the season started. Have a lot of guys that can play. They can shoot the ball. So, uh, yeah, just focus on winning and uh, having fun with my teammates. Ben, Santi, I know you got to play with Jordan and Jordan, uh, in Italy and with them a ton. Uh, but has there been an adjustment since coming back um, to to playing with those guys in in games? Uh, I mean, it's just a thing that you got to feel. Uh, both of them had a really hot start, and uh, I know they can maintain it because they're both great players. Uh, so it's just a thing of uh, as long as they're making shots, uh, I'm fine with that. Like, uh, it's fun to play with them. Uh, and as long as we're winning, I don't care what it takes to win. So uh, just for facilitating this point in the game for them uh, more than anything. And just trying to find a role too. Ryan, you guys played in a tournament like this last year. Just what's the challenge of playing three good opponents in three days? Uh, I'd say two things. Uh, the first one is definitely uh, I'd say distractions. Uh, Hawaii is a beautiful place, like a paradise over here, uh, and I think that. It's one of the main things. Like Bahamas was the same thing. Uh, I think the team did a great job of focusing on what it took. Uh, we're here to play basketball and do our jobs. Uh, so I'm completely confident the team is going to do uh, great in that aspect again. And the second thing is uh, recovery and just the loads of playing three games straight, uh, managing that, So, which we also did great uh, last tournament in Bahamas. So I think those are the two uh, main things, and I know this team can take care of both of them. Mike? Yeah, Santi, you guys opened with Syracuse. What have you guys seen on film from them so far, and what's kind of the, the scouting report on Judah Mintz? Uh, we haven't watched scout on them yet. Uh, we've talked uh, just kind of individually uh, with some of the coaches about them. Uh, we know they have a really good team. They have good guards and a really big man. I believe he's like 7'4". And we know it's a team that is uh, trying to figure out stuff too. Uh, I think they had a they have a new coach now. Uh, they're trying to put all the pieces together. So we know it's going to be a battle. And yeah, we're ready to play them. Ben, Santi, I know you all have heard Rick talk about rebounding over and over again, and he's been kind of talking to us about it as well. How, how much is he emphasizing the guards uh, helping out and crashing the boards as as well to to help that? Yeah, definitely that's been one of the biggest uh, focus point, points that we've had as a team. Uh, we have uh, bigs that can rebound the ball like Jonas and Tobey. Uh, they're just monsters going after the ball. And we know now if we want to get to the next level, we need the guards to come in and help them too, uh, get those rebounds that are out of the space of the bigs. And, yeah, we're working on that offensively and defensively. And uh, that's one of the main things that we need to do for us to get to the next level. Ryan, how have you seen Jonas improve on the defensive end? Feels like he's been a consistent force around the basket in every game for y'all this year. Uh, we knew that already. Uh, we know Jonas is one of the top uh, defensive uh, centers in the country. Uh, when he's around the rim, uh, he is a great blocker. Uh, he's just a really tall guy, uh, long wingspan, and he's very good timing it too. So we know every time somebody gets driven by or whatever rotation makes them get to the basket, uh, we still count on Jonas down there uh, blocking, making plays and uh, blocking shots. And the other thing, too, I think our base are doing a great job, uh, especially guarding outside of the lane, uh, uh, which it requires in ball screens being up to touch. And even when they get switched on a guard, uh, they have great feet, and we're also going to help them with it. All right, got one more hand up. We'll go back to Ben to wrap it up. Santi, you all are kind of the, the talk about college basketball right now, especially Dalton with, with his hot start. 
Uh, and you talked at SEC Media Day. Uh, I remember you being on the set and them asking you a question about making a deep run in the tournament, and, and you talked about kind of having the pieces to, to do that. Th does this year feel different to you th than your previous four years? Uh, I mean, every year I've been confident in all of my teammates uh, and coach, all the coaching staff and everything. Uh, but it's our last year. I know we have a really special team. Uh, we have a special opportunity as well. And I think it's going to just depend on us on how we react to adversity that is going to come in the future uh, and just how we stick together in our mindsets. And I think we can do it. So I think it's going to be up to us. All right, Santi, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Alex.